Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Teens and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about Rational Root Theorem. The Rational Root Theorem states that if a polynomial equation in standard form has integral coefficients, then any rational root must be of the form positive negative p over q, where p is a factor of the constant term and q is a factor of the leading coefficient. And we have the formula possible rational roots is equal to the factors of the constant term over the factors of the leading coefficient. Let's have now examples of rational root theorem. We will determine all the possible rational roots of the given equations. So in example number 1, we have x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. First is we're going to determine the constant term of the given equation. And that will be the value of p. In the given equation, the constant term is positive 6. And then after that, we're going to determine the factors of the constant term, which is 6. And the factors of 6 are 1 and 6. It can be negative 1 and negative 6. 2 and 3. Or it can be negative 2 and negative 3. And then if you're going to summarize these factors, we have positive negative 1 positive 1 and negative 1 and we can write that as positive negative 1 next we have positive 2 negative 2 and that is the same as positive negative 2 positive 3 negative 3 and that is the same as positive negative 3 and we have positive 6 and negative 6 and that is the same as positive negative 6. Next will be the leading coefficient. What is the leading coefficient of the given equation? And that will be the value of q. So in this equation, the leading coefficient is the coefficient of x squared. So that is 1. And the factors of 1, it can be positive 1 or negative 1 and we can write that as positive negative 1. After finding the factors of the constant term and the leading coefficient, so we're going to determine the value of p over q. We will just divide the value of p by the value of q. Okay? So, we have now the possible rational roots of the given equation are so 1 positive negative 1 divided by positive negative 1 and that is equal to positive negative 1. Next is positive negative 2 divided by positive negative 1 that is equal to positive negative 2. Next is positive negative 3 divided by positive negative 1 is equal to positive negative 3. And positive negative 6 divided by positive negative 1 is equal to positive negative 6. So therefore, the possible rational roots of x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0 are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 3, and positive negative 6. For example, number 2, we have x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed plus x plus 12 is equal to 0. First step is we're going to determine the constant term of the given equation and that is the value of p. So the constant term in this equation is 12. Positive 12. Next is we're going to determine the factors of 12. We have 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, negative 1 and negative 12, negative 2 and negative 6, 
negative 3 and negative 4. And we can write these factors of 12 as 4 positive 1 and negative 1. That is the same as positive negative 1. And then positive 2, negative 2. That is the same as positive negative 2. Positive 3, negative 3. That is the same as positive negative 3. Positive 4, negative 4. That is the same as positive negative 4. Positive 6, negative 6. That is the same as positive negative 6. And positive 12, negative 12, that is the same as positive negative 12. Next is for the leading coefficient, and that is the value of Q. The leading coefficient of this equation is the coefficient of x raised to 4, or the numerical coefficient of x raised to 4, and that is, this is equal to 1. The factors of 1... We have 1 and negative 1. So, we can write these factors as positive negative 1. So, the possible rational roots of the equation x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed plus x plus 12 equals 0 are we will divide the value of p over the value of q. So, we have positive negative 1 divided by Positive negative 1 is equal to positive negative 1. Positive negative 2 divided by positive negative 1 is equal to positive negative 2. Positive negative 3 divided by positive negative 1 is equal to positive negative 3. Positive negative 4 divided by positive negative 1 is equal to positive negative 4. Positive negative 6 divided by... Positive negative 1 is equal to positive negative 6. Positive negative 12 divided by positive negative 1 is equal to positive negative 12. So therefore, the possible, uh, possible rational roots of x raised to 4 minus 5x cubed plus x plus 12 is equal to 0 are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 3, positive negative 4, positive negative 6, and positive negative 12. For example number 3, we have 3x raised to 4 plus x cubed plus 4x squared minus 10x plus 8 equals 0. For the constant term, or the value of p is positive 8. This is the constant term, positive 8. And the factors of 8 are 1 and 8, 2 and 4, negative 1, negative 8, negative 2, and negative 4. And we can write uh, these factors as positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 4, and positive negative 8. Next, for the leading coefficient, the leading coefficient of this equation is the numerical coefficient of x raised to 4, which is 3. And that is the value of q, positive 3. And the factors of 3 are 1 and 3, negative 1, negative 3. And we can write now these factors as positive negative 1, positive negative 3. And then, after finding the factors of P and Q, we're going to determine now the value of P over Q. And that will be the possible rational roots of 3x raised to 4 plus x cubed plus 4x squared minus 10x plus 8 equals 0. So, these are positive negative 1 divided by positive negative 1 is equal to positive negative 1. Positive negative 2 divided by positive negative 1 is equal to positive negative 2. Next is positive negative 4 divided by positive negative 1 is equal to positive negative 4. Positive negative 8 divided by positive negative 1 is equal to positive negative 8. Next is positive negative 1 
divided by positive negative 3 is equal to positive negative 1 third. And then, positive negative 2 divided by positive negative 3 is equal to positive negative 2 thirds. Positive negative 4 divided by positive negative 3 is equal to positive negative 4 thirds. And positive negative 8 divided by positive negative 3 is equal to positive negative 8 thirds. So the possible rational roots of the equation 3x raised to 4 plus x cubed plus 4x squared minus 10x plus 8 equals 0 are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 4, positive negative 8, positive negative 1 third, positive negative 2 thirds, positive negative 4 thirds, and positive negative 8 thirds. For example, number 4, we have 4x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals 0. First is, we're going to determine the constant term of the given equation and that will be the value of p. So, the constant term in this equation is negative 5. Next is, we're going to determine the factors of negative 5. So, we have 1 and negative 5 or it can be negative 1 and 5. Next is, we're going to write now these factors in the form of positive negative 1, positive negative 5. So, this will be the factors of P. Next is, we're going to determine the leading coefficient of the given equation. So, here, the numerical coefficient of x cubed is positive 4 and that is the value of Q, positive 4. Next is, we're going to determine the factors of 4, which are 1 and 4, 2 and 2, negative 1, negative 4, or negative 2 and negative 2. So, we can write now these factors as positive negative 1, positive negative 2, and positive negative 4. After finding the values of P and Q or the factors of negative 5 and positive 4 is we're going to determine or we will divide now P over Q. Okay? And that will be the possible rational roots of 4x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals 0. So, these are now positive negative 1 divided by positive negative 1 is positive negative 1. Next is positive negative 5 divided by positive negative 1 equals positive negative 5. Next, positive negative 1 divided by positive negative 2 that is equal to 1 half. Next, positive negative 5 divided by positive negative 2 and that is equal to positive negative 5 halves. Next is positive negative 1 divided by positive negative 4 is equal to positive negative 1 fourth. And last, positive negative 5 divided by positive negative 4 is equal to positive negative 5 fourths. So therefore, the possible rational roots of the equation 4x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals 0 are... Positive negative 1, positive negative 5, positive negative 1 half, positive negative 5 halves, positive negative 1 fourth, and positive negative 5 fourths. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.